Hey guys, welcome to Black Sheep Fitness Academy. This workout is called Jingle Belly. Okay, I put this on for all you guys out there that want to keep the fat burning happen over the festive period. Now this workout is 10 minutes long. It can be done in your living room, that's why I'm doing it day mine. And it can be done on the spot, yeah? You don't need much room. Don't need no fancy uh, equipment. You don't need no gyms, so you've got no excuse, yeah? It's 10 minutes. And what we're gonna be doing is a full body workout, which basically means that we're gonna use all the major muscles of the body. Now we're gonna work um, in an interval session, yeah? Interval session is by far the superior method of burning fat. If any of you guys out there are going out jogging, going out running on the streets, or hours on the treadmill, it ain't good, yeah? Not for fat loss anyway. The only way you should be training long distance if you're actually an endurance uh, event um, athlete, yeah? So if you're going out running, if that's your sport, yeah? If you're looking for fat loss and reshaping your body, intervals your boy, yeah? It's no other way. And what interval training is, is working at a high intense for a certain amount of time, then resting. So it's bringing your heart rate up, and bring your heart rate down, yeah? So it's no steady state cardio. And what happens when you work an interval is, you get something called an afterburn or an epoch. Just look it up on the internet, yeah? It, what basically what it is, you burn calories after the workout's finished. And it's been known to burn calories if you work hard enough for up to 36 to 48 hours after. That doesn't happen with steady state cardio, okay? So that's why it's superior. Anyway, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna work for a, a Tabata interval, which is 20 seconds high intense, 10 seconds rest. On the 20 seconds, you're not looking to pace yourself, you're not looking to go through the motions, you're looking to push yourself, your muscles should be burning, you should be breathing and gasping for air by the 20 seconds is done, all right? We're gonna repeat four exercises in a row, full body like I've said. Once we've done them four times at 20, 10, you're gonna repeat one more time. Once you've done it twice, you're gonna get a minute rest and then you're gonna repeat again. 10 minutes, that's all it is. Before we start, though, guys, do remember, you must warm up before you start and you must cool down when you're finished, yeah? What I want you to do, if anyone's got out there got iPod Air phones, I want you to download an app called Gym Boss Interval Timer. That will sort your uh, Tabata 20 seconds, 10 seconds rest um, time down for you, so it'll keep you right all the way through, so it's, uh, it's amazing, so you don't need to keep looking at your watch. If you haven't got an iPhone, you can't download an app, just get a stopwatch, and remember, you're working for 20 seconds and you're resting for 10. Okay, so the four exercises we're going to be using are uh, dead simple but very metabolic, yeah, so it's going to keep the pressure on your muscles all the time. There's not any fancy movements going on. So we've got press up, we've got squat, we've got a mountain climber on there, and we've got a full body burpee, okay? Okay guys, so the first exercise is a press up, so you want to hit down on the ground. When you're on the ground, you want to get down on your knees, and what you want to be doing is your shoulders and your elbows and your wrists should all be in line, so a nice straight line. Your hands just want to be slightly past shoulder level, okay, and you want to come onto the toes at the back with a nice straight body. You notice how my body's nice and straight. I've got no sagging, yeah, and I've got no arching of the back. It's all nice and solid and straight. To make that even better, what you want to be doing is sucking the belly button into the spine. That will activate the core muscles of the stomach, because remember, a press up works the stomach as well, yeah? So you're sucking the belly button into the spine, on the balls of the feet, shoulders, elbows, and wrists in line, and you want to be going, moving down, bending the elbows, leading with the chest and chin, one inch of the ground, take it back up again, yeah? Try not to lock the arms at the top face, try and keep a nice little bend of the elbows all the time. To make it a little bit easier, you can get down on your knees, exactly the same safety points, yeah? So everything in a line, belly button sucked in, all the way down, lean with the chest and chin, one inch, and back up we'll go, okay? 20 seconds, 10 seconds rest, we'll then move into the squat. Nice little gap of the legs, arms out in front, and you're gonna sit down by pushing the bum and hips back, chest up, and all the weight should be on the heels, so much so that you should be able to wiggle your toes. Then you're gonna drive back through the heels and stand up tall, dead simple. Make sure when you're going down, yeah, you get nice and low. Don't just take it to a little bit, or don't just take it to 90 degrees. If you can get lower, you get nice and low. Remember, we're designed to get low. 20 seconds, 10 seconds rest. We're then going to the mountain climber. Exactly the same safety points of positioning as the press up. Only this time, what you're gonna be doing is bringing one of your knees, one of your legs and knees, to the chest, little squeeze, take it back again. Then you're gonna do the opposite leg, yeah? The mountain climber. Again, when you get the rhythm, 
you can speed it up, yeah? Into a nice little run. But let's see a nice full extension of the legs. Keep the knees nice and low to the ground. Squeeze that bare belly button into the spine. No rocking of the upper body either. I see that a lot. A lot of people rocking the upper body. The upper body should be nice and fixed. And let the stomach and legs do the work, okay? Then, 20 seconds, 10 seconds rest. We'll move into burpee. Very, very old school exercise, but it is amazing for getting lean, yeah? A lot of people do it wrong all the time. So, nice little gap of the legs. Bend the knees, chest up, hands to lead first and touch the ground first. You then jump your feet out, nice and straight. Again, it's almost that press up position again. Nice straight body, again, no sagging, no arching. You wanna be nice and solid. Little tip, you jump the feet back to the hands. As close as you can. That way, way you uh, activate your bum and your glutes will do the work when you stand up. Okay, so you're going down, out, in, stand it up. To make it a little bit easier, when you go down, you can walk one leg out at a time and walk it back in at a time and stand it up. That just makes the burpee that a little bit easier for anyone that doesn't uh, want to do the big jump at the back. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to run through one round. Just one round. Got me interval timer here. Set it for 2010. Okay, I'm going to start with the press up. Here we go. Remember, guys, gym boss interval. Download it, it's brilliant. So, press up position on the toes. Off we go, yeah? So I'm going for 20 seconds. I'm not looking to pace myself. I'm going to go to good, decent pace, nice and high intense. Pushing it through. Already I'm feeling the muscles burning. That's what I want. One inch off the ground, my stomach is nice and solid. I'm sucking my belly button in and rest. 20 seconds. So you've got 10 seconds rest. We're now going to the squat position. Remember the lower the better. All the weight on the heels. Hands out, arms out, all the way down, all the way up. All that weight is on my heels and I'm pushing through from the heels as well. Chest is up, bum's going down as low as I can. And I'm making it intense again. I'm not piercing it. Starting to get a little bit out of breath now. And rest. Mountain climber. Again, it's a press up position. Getting ready. Off we go, yeah? Remember, you can run it, or you can walk one at a time. Whatever you feel more comfortable. But remember, make it intense. Don't take it easy. If it doesn't challenge you, it doesn't change you, yeah? Count down. Rest it. Last one, the burpee. I'm feeling it now, yeah? So, get set. Last 20. Hands gonna hit the ground first. Nice solid body. I'm jumping my feet right back to my hands. So there you have it guys, 10 minute workout, done on the spot, all body weight, gonna be burning calories hours after you've done that. Always remember though, the more intense you make it, the more you're gonna get that nice afterburn, that nice epoch uh, happening, okay? So make it intense. Remember, if it doesn't challenge you, it doesn't change you, don't go through the motions. 20, 10, 20 seconds work, to, uh, 10 seconds rest, four exercises, you've got the press up, you've got the squat, you've got the mountain climber, and you've got the burpee. Once you've done the four, Repeat the sequence straight away again. You then get one minute rest and then repeat it two more times. 10 whole minutes, no excuses. I wish you all the very uh, best for 2013 and have a very Merry Christmas, guys. See ya.